how to deal with high balls with two specialty shots. And if you missed the first video on how to deal with high balls, make sure to go to this link down below. It's also in the description that shows you how to deal with high balls with the somewhat easier decision in the beginning to drop back and letting that ball drop back into your strike zone. And then also the more advanced technique and taking the ball on the rise. Footwork patterns, tactical decisions all included. So today we are going to look at two other ways on how to deal with high balls. One is the carve off slice and the other one is the swing volley. And both options are great ways to interrupt your opponent's rhythm. So let's get into it. The first one is the carve of slice. Now, dropping back and hitting a heavy topspin backhand or a two-hander, of course, same thing, topspin backhand, that is one thing. If you have a slice, if you're pretty experienced with your slice, the carve off is a great way to push the ball down to basically getting out of those high ball rallies because you're adding a different spin, you're imposing the underspin and a little bit of side spin on the ball that keeps the ball low, you're changing the pace, and you're probably pulling in your opponent a little bit because you're trying to get an angle. And all those are great things to prevent your opponent from, yeah, getting under the ball and rolling yet another ball high above your shoulder. So let's look at what you have to do for the carve off slice. The preparation is the same as to a regular slice. You want to have your racket way far back because you have to have the racket weight traveled before you make contact. But you're not coming at the ball in this plane here. You're actually carving around the ball a little bit. And that is where you can actually use your wrist a little bit. So if you're looking at it from the side, if I were to play the ball this way, this is a regular slice. Now, if I'm carving it off a little bit this way, and let's look at it from behind because then you see it even better. So I'm trying to address that ball still about shoulder height. If they come a little higher, it's still okay to handle, but I am leading with the outer edge here and I'm coming around a little bit and that gives it that carve off effect. So let's see how I'm doing. So even if the ball comes through the middle of the court, if I'm choosing to use my backhand, I can still create an angle because of the racket face, the tilt of the racket face. And I would take that ball only if I can take that on the rise. So I'm coming up to it and I'm carving it off. That was a little too much. All right, so I'm tilting my racket a little bit more here, carving around, and I'm using my wrist pretty extensively, actually. And because the ball comes with a higher bounce, yes, I probably have a little bit of a steeper downswing than on a regular slice because I have to pull the ball down. Ooh, I almost took that too late. That was better. I felt like I had it just above shoulder or around shoulder. Ooh, I let that come above my shoulder and my head. Ah, that almost felt like a regular slice, just a little carve off. I'd actually landed in the left side of the ad box. So actually it was a really good ball. There we go. So that is one option. The other option is your swing volley. So you're sick and tired of your opponent rallying high balls through the middle. All right, so the swing volley is especially great when you see that your opponent is in trouble and they're most likely to hit a higher ball without a whole lot of spin. Now, of course, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can take it with spin or without spin. But let's say you're hitting a really good ball and you're seeing something like this. I'm being pulled out wide, I'm turned away from the court, I'm not even looking to the court, and my racket face is open, or I'm stretching here, one-hander, two-hander, doesn't matter. You jump in, and you're gonna get there quick. And ideally, you take the ball chest, shoulder high in between here, or if it comes lower, you really have to brush up. So that's another option 
to interrupt your opponent's rhythm. When somebody's just happy to roll the ball, you know, deep into the court, you're basically sending them a message. You're saying like, hey, you can't afford to just roll the ball into the middle of the court. I'm gonna take that away either with a car rough slice or I'm gonna come in and hit a swing volley. If you like this video, make sure that you're subscribing. You also click that little bell symbol because that way you know when I'm putting out new content. You can also follow me on Instagram and I'm sure to see you on either one of those channels really soon.